Hello, it's Janet16 and I'm here again to do another unboxing on a Bathman Baldwin. This time, this is the second one I bought and this is Baldwin Class 1012D Hummy Hashover Light Railway Black. Sorry for the tapping, the dog wants to go outside. <laughs> so yeah, let's get this one out of the box. Um, I just finished the Peggy video and runs really nicely on the layout. Just need to clean the track before I get Hummy on there. Okay, I haven't used the layout in a good couple of weeks now because I'm working on other stuff. But there we go. So you get your information. There we go. Not going to bore you all with that. Should have a guarantee as well with that and a club lot. Um, on the bottom, we have. There we go. Ah, so again, we have etch plates and builder's plates I don't know if I'll fit them or not I'll have a look, I'll have a think about it but there we go now Hummy I wanted for the layout because of it being industrial as well as passenger even though it's preserved railway and also with the new plans for the uh, National Coal Board layout Hummy will feature on that layout as well because I'm going to have a now gauge uh, line Get my little package in. Again, I tested about eight of these this morning. There we go. Wow. The weathering is really good. So again, very small. What I'll do is set the camera up and we'll take a closer look. Here we go. So, Hummy is different to Peggy. Not the colour and the weathering, but they have a different cab style as well. Um, I must do a comparison at some point on them. But I will be taking pictures of both of them together anyway. So the weathering stands out really nicely. And also the rust. The weathering effect with the rust is really good. Um, best I've seen for a while. Uh, I did have a go at weathering some stuff myself the other day. And there's still a video to be done on that. But there we go. So notice the... Uh, I don't know if the camera will focus on that. So at the back here, that's where the builder's plate goes. As you can see, it's very weathered, so you can barely see it. And there's the loco, there's the name here, Hummy. And I haven't looked at the cab detail on these, but I'm sure they have it. Yes, you can see some cab detail there. Really weathered, uh, and it's really nice. It shows up more on camera than it does using the eye uh, which is it's usually the other way around but they're no, very nice um, I will have to get some drivers sorted for these locos but for all of my narrow gauge stock there we go we can just see a nice and cab detail the detail is really nicely done I will have to try and get some pictures of that but wow what another stunning loco um, I don't know which one I prefer yet Peggy or Hummy um, I mean, yes, they've done other ones, but Peggy and Emmy's really the two that everyone really wanted, I think. Um, I like the weathering, but I like Peggy. I was the paint job on it, and that's just really nice finish. But yeah, we can see the extended cab there. Peggy doesn't have that. Peggy's cab cuts off here, so you don't have this back bit. But yeah, very nice. There we go. And again, the valve gear is really nice. Runs really well with the locos. Um, some of you may know I had a lot of trouble with the mini trains. Brigger lock, valve gear. Uh, three locos. And currently the third one is running okay. So no problems there. But I don't think we're going to have a problem with valve gear on this loco. To note as well, mini trains do the other kind of board run. Which is, um, I think it's a little bit longer than this. It might be the same, so it's not too short. There's the dogs barking. Okay, the dog was barking for good reason. Uh, male. <laughs> the postwoman uh, knocked on the window and some parcels, which uh, I'll be doing some videos on in a couple of days. So there we have it. Really nicely detailed these are. There we go. And look at the rust on the smoke box door there. Very nice. 
Now, you could add more detail to these, um, like, you know, like shovels and equipment they use the, with the engines. Um, the only thing I'm going to add is the crew. I don't want to add stuff like that. Um, but, yeah. I think it's time to go and stick this one on the layout. So, what I will do is do that right now. Okay, so Ummy is on the layout. It sounds like I'm saying mummy every time, but no, I am saying hummy. Wow, it looks really nice on the layout. Uh, nice weathered engine. I don't know, it seems to suit it more, more than Peggy does. I don't know if that's because the layout's going to be quite overgrown. I mean, it's not finished, so I don't know. It seems to suit it more. Um, I'll do the same again as I did with Peggy. I will run it on the line... Uh, not with passenger stock, it'll be with freight stock, because this loco won't be working on passengers. Um, this one will be pulling the coal train, other stuff like that. So, I'll set the camera up, and we'll get filming straight away. Um, I just really like that shot, I'm going to have to take a picture of that. It's looking really nice there, next to the signal box. Okay, so there we have it. I hope you enjoyed the footage of Hummy going around. The track does really need a clean. You might have noticed some of the wagons as they've gone by stutter a little bit. That's because I try and not film where the points are because the points seem to gather more dirt than anywhere else. Um, but what I'm going to do is give the massive, uh, or the track, a massive clean. But overall, both locomotives are absolutely perfect. I put Peggy beside Hummy here and they just look stunning. I'm really pleased with them. Thank you Derails, uh, that's where I bought these two from. And well hopefully they will keep running on this layout now for the next couple of years until I build a bigger now gauge railway. And I don't plan to but we probably will move out and this layout is literally gonna have to be destroyed to uh, move it. But never mind. Just means I can build bigger and better. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hummy is a superb loco. Highly recommend these two. I would try and get Peggy now. Because Peggy seems to be very popular and won't last very long in shops. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon. And bye for now.